Hello, my friends, and welcome to another edition of Verbal Surgery. I'm your verbal surgeon, Tim A. Cummins, here to radiate your brain for maximum gain. And baby, I've got a good one for you today in a second installment of Brain Train. Yeah, well, we're going to get inside that sweet old brain of yours and do some hypnosis. So if you're listening to this and trying to drive or operate heavy machinery, <laughs> don't, because we're going to be single-minded on this. We're going to get down with our sweet old brain, and that's not the time to be focused on driving or doing anything that, you know, takes your attention away from what I'm saying, because I'm important, baby. You need to check it out, Jack. Today, we're going to talk about pain control, pain control. If you have any pains in your body right now, I've had some issues with my right soldier, uh, shoulder here and, and um, hurt that and been doing a lot of self-hypnosis on that and it has helped a lot. And so that's what I'd like to talk to you about uh, with this now. Now, even though I'm going to be going through this with you, understand that this is a cumulative effect as well. So my, my goal in Brain Train is to help teach you how to do these things on your own so that when you start having these issues, you can be better and do this. You'd have to say, well, I got to go find my computer so I can go listen to Tim, uh, you know, do some verbal surgery on my brain so that, you know, I don't have this pain anymore. I, you know, in the evenings before you go to sleep, you know, or do that, I think that would be great. Or if you're there by yourself in your office, you can really focus on that. It's great. But let's go through some things right now. As I mentioned in our first episode about talking how the mind and body are connected. Do you remember when I gave you that lemon idea where, you know, you could think about that really sour lemon and, oh, man, that's so sour. And woo, you bite into the lemon. You're like, woo, wee, baby, woo. Come on now. You know, and it starts to generate saliva. That's, again, because your mind and body are connected. They are connected and you have control over a lot of your body. You may not be able to control everything in your body, but you can control a lot of your body. Now, let me give you an example of this. If you were to just pinch the, the top part of your hand like this, not real hard, but just to pinch it, you know, right? Pinching that like that. You think about that about hard? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to think about a time that you were on vacation. You know, I just got back from the beach not too long ago, and I can remember those beautiful waves and the yellow sand and the palm trees. Now, what I'd like for you to do is I want you to pinch it the same way, but this time as you're doing it, I want you to think about that beach scene or wherever your favorite place is. All right? So... Pinching, and now I want you to start thinking about that other spot. We're out there on the beach, and it's a beautiful waves, and it's the blue sky, and maybe you could see the pelicans. And now let me ask you a question: What was your impression of the pain level? Now, most people, when I do this very simple exercise with them, they say, "Well, you know, Tim, it just didn't seem to hurt as bad." And normally, they follow it up with. It was because I was thinking about something else. That's a big concept to get a hold of on this, is if you wonder how soldiers can get shot in the leg and continue to fight and not even feel it, well, part of it is because our brain, now, now listen to this, because this is important. You, the same chemicals that are in morphine, that have pain control in morphine, are generated in our brain. Have you ever wondered what they call when they think you go into shock while you can't feel anything? It's because when you have something hurt you, the brain generates this very powerful anesthetic effect. Now, can we just generate that when we want to? Most of the time we cannot, but it does happen. And as I was saying, when you're in an athletic event and you hurt yourself, but you're so, you're so intent on your team winning, on you doing well, and, your, and everything going out, you just didn't think about it until afterwards, all right? So it's a focus of attention with this pain thing. That's number one. Number two is, let me tell you, my friends, pain is your friend. 
Now you may think, oh, Tim, are you nuts? Pain is not my friend. Pain sucks. I hate pain. I don't want pain. Why do you have pain? It's because your body is trying to protect that body part. If I have pain in my shoulder, what's that pain trying to do? It's saying at a deep level, Tim, be careful. I'm healing this. I'm taking care of this. And as long as you're gentle with this body part, I'm not going to give you that reminder. It's a reminder. All right. But here's the deal. And as we go through some different hypnotic techniques with this thing, we have to make an agreement with that powerful part of our brain that we don't control, which is our subconscious mind. To just remind your subconscious mind that we're not asking to take away all this pain. And in fact, if you're having significant pain, see a doctor. All right? This is not a curative. I'm not trying to, to say, I replace the doctor. Don't ever get that idea because I'm not. Right? What I'm trying to say is, when the pills don't work, then try using different hypnotic techniques. Try using focus. Try to use, just like anesthesiologists use hypnosis, to make the anesthesia better to make the medicine better, to make the healing faster, more complete. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Are you feeling me? So I want you to just sit in your chair. If you're, if you're watching this on your computer or, or uh, laying down, but wherever it is, I want you to be in a comfortable spot as we go in to do some of these exercises. And again, as I mentioned at first, don't listen to this while we're, while you're driving. Don't be silly. I mean, it's about, you know, focus and you got to be focused on driving. Amen. So get in a comfortable position. Um, you shouldn't be wearing super tight clothes and stuff like that because, you know, that might draw your attention to something, but be comfortable, right? Feet flat on the floor. All right. And so much of concentration and hypnosis is generated through breathing. All right. So a lot of times, you know, when we would hurt, you know, the coach would say, run it off or just breathe through it. I don't know if your coach ever told you that, but he used to tell us that. And every time that you take a deep breath, you fill your lungs with that life giving oxygen and that oxygen goes up through your brain and makes you start to feel good now. And as you start to feel good, and as you take good deep breaths, you enter into different states. You're going into your inside world where you are in control and where we will talk with your subconscious mind. So again, what I'd like for you to do is just go ahead and take another good deep breath. And this time as you exhale, go ahead and close your eyes. That's right. Very good. Another good deep breath. This time I want to think about the muscles in your feet, in your calves, in your thighs. And as you breathe and exhale, just let any tension that you might have just seep away, just melt away. Just as if the muscles in your legs and your thighs were completely relaxed, as if you were just floating, no tension, Nothing to worry about, nowhere to have to go right now, but just to focus on my voice and just to absorb yourself in this inside world of your body. That's right, just like that. Take another good deep breath. So I want you to think about the muscles in your stomach and your chest. And as you exhale, just let any tension that you might have in your stomach or in your chest muscles, just relax right now, letting all tension just leave your body. That's right. Very good. I could tell you're good at this. Another good deep breath. This time I want you to think about the muscles in your hands and your forearms and in your biceps and in your shoulder. And as you think about those muscles, just let all of those muscles just loose like a dish towel, just completely just loose. No tension at all. Very good. Just let that feeling continue to just intensify now. Very good. Take another good deep breath. 
So I want you to think about the muscles in your neck. A lot of times we keep a lot of tension in our neck. And you may want to just kind of roll your neck around right now. Just roll it around a little bit. And just let all those muscles in your neck just completely relax. Just feeling really good right now. Very good. Another good deep breath. This time I want you to think about the muscles in your face, around your jaw, your cheeks, around your eyes, the muscles around your eyes, in your forehead, and in your scalp. And as you exhale every breath, just let every bit of that tension just completely go, to seep out. Another good deep breath, all the way in. I want you to scan your body now from the very top of your head. As you exhale, just go through your the whole body now from the top of your head, your forehead, your eyes, your cheeks, your jaws, your neck, down your shoulders and biceps and forearms, and your hands, and your chest, and your stomach. All tension just going. It's like oozing out, seeping out through your legs, your thighs, your calves, through your feet, as if all of that tension was just going all the way out through your feet. Very good. And it feels good just to relax, doesn't it? Take another good deep breath. And just enjoy that feeling of relaxation centeredness, how your body is harmonizing as it all comes together in a very powerful way right now. Now in a moment, not now but in a moment, I'm going to count from three to zero and when I count to zero you will go 50 times deeper into this experience all the way down knowing that you are in control this is your body. This is nothing that I am doing to you. But all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. And if any time you need to come back to complete awareness, you can do that. If someone needs you, if, so, if you see something that's unusual happening, of course you can come back out of this state. But right now, as we count from three to zero, you go 50 times deeper into this state so that we can have a healing process and to learn how to control that powerful sensation of pain and reduce that so it's bearable, so it's noticeable, so it's tolerable, but not excruciating, not hurting, but easy to deal with. Take another good deep breath. Three. Deeper and deeper now. That's right. Just let go. Two, deeper and deeper still, all the way down, my friend. That's right. Nothing to worry about. So you become more and more centered, more and more in touch with that inner part of yourself. Another good deep breath. One, and the deeper you go, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the deeper you go. That's right. One last good deep breath. And zero. Fifty times deeper, all the way down. Just in a profound state of relaxation and focus. And starting right now, every sound you hear, every voice you hear, both inside and out, makes it easier and easier to focus on my voice. And every sensation you may feel makes it easier and easier to focus on my voice and to follow my directions. And everything I say to you, with your permission, becomes your total and complete reality. And every breath that you take takes you deeper and deeper and deeper still. That's right. Very good. Every beat of your heart taking you deeper and deeper now. Very good. 
Now we're going to get on that brain train together. And I want you to imagine that you're on a train. But this is a brain train and you're actually riding on top of this train. And it's very safe and you can imagine that you're riding on those rails and you're in a beautiful mountain valley. And you can see the green grass around you and the trees around you and in front of you, way down that track, you can see a tunnel and it's going into a mountain. And that mountain represents that deep part of yourself, that subconscious mind of yours, that powerful part of your brain. And as we count from five to zero, I want you to imagine zero being that tunnel. And as we get closer and closer to that tunnel, when that train goes through that tunnel, through that zero that represents the entrance to that tunnel, you will go into a profound state of hypnosis. And it will feel wonderful and know that you are doing something about your body and accessing different parts of your brain that you never may have known existed before. So, I want you to imagine your top on that train right now. You can see that zero, the enter of that tunnel way off in the distance as we start to count now. Five, moving towards that tunnel now. Four, closer and closer. You can see that tunnel getting closer and closer as we move along those rails. Closer and closer. Really looking forward to going into that tunnel and seeing what it's like to be inside of that wonderful mountain of your subconscious. Take another good deep breath. Three, closer and closer now, moving closer to that entrance to that zero. Two, almost there. Now you're really looking forward to it to see what it will be like as you enter into that deep part of your mind, that wonderful part of your mind, that part of you that is so centered. One last good deep breath. One, almost there now. You're really looking forward to it. The train is almost ready to get to that zero, almost ready to enter into that tunnel, almost ready to be there now. You're really looking forward to it. Take one good deep breath and go through that zero right now. Enter into that tunnel, into that dark space within you that's lit up with magical lights of perhaps beautiful tunnels of light around you and you feel warm and secure and healthy and happy. And right now as we got inside that deep part of you, I want you to imagine a scene now, a part where you've been really happy and secure, maybe on vacation. We mentioned earlier about that beach, but wherever that part of it is, I want you to think about that now, whether it's maybe a lake or a river scene or the beach, wherever that might be. That's your private place. That's that place that you can go. Whenever that pain gets too much, you can remember all you have to do is take those deep breaths and imagine that train going into that tunnel and going in from that train into that beautiful place, wherever that might be, where only you can go and the sound of my voice will follow you there. And I just wonder how great it will feel when you no longer have to suffer with that pain. And I imagine how wonderful that will be to you. And as you're there, wherever that might be, maybe in the mountains or the forest or the beach, completely comfortable, completely relaxed as your body is sinking up in harmonious ways. And as you're thinking about that right now, I just want your conscious mind to enjoy that spot, to enjoy that place. And I want your conscious mind now to create for you a box, whatever that box might look like. It could be a little treasure box, and you can decorate that in any way that you want to. And I want you to do that right now for me. Very good. However it looks is fine. And everything that you learn today, 
these learnings that we will have, you will put inside of that box. And that powerful subconscious mind of yours will know where to access that at any time. You go back to that beach, open up that box, and immediately, you will immediately feel those wonderful feelings return and remember everything that you've learned. And remember that hypnosis is a completely natural state, a wonderful thing that you experience all the time. But being able to access those states in new and more powerful ways is exciting. It's cutting edge technology and it's wonderful. And as that wonderful conscious mind of yours just enjoys that beauty and just relaxes there, your conscious mind doesn't have to pay any more attention to what I'm saying, but can just enjoy that beautiful scene, that special place, as I talk to your subconscious mind for a while. I'm now talking to you, the subconscious mind, my friend. And I want to thank you for protecting my friend. That pain that you've given them is to protect them, is to make sure that they use that body part in careful ways. And my friend is very intelligent. They understand what this pain is for, to be careful. But that pain is no longer necessary at that level. That pain can be ramped down. And I want you to imagine, my friend, that you have a dial in front of you, like a radio dial in front of you. And you could almost reach out physically, or just in your imagination, reach out to that dial. And as your hand is on that dial, I want you to think right now, what is your level of pain right now? From a number of from 1 to 10, where is that pain level? When you have that number in your mind, I want you to nod your head. Very good. I'll take another good deep breath. And my subconscious mind that we're working with right now, as I turn that knob down, the numbers down, lower and lower numbers. I do not need to ramp that pain all the way to zero because that pain is helpful to me at some level. But that pain that was so high, I'm now ramping down, turning that pain down, further and further down, further down now. I can just barely feel it. I can still feel it because the pain is necessary, but it's significantly reduced now. Just keep turning that knob down now. And there's two knobs there. One is the reduction knob, and the other one is the channel knob. Just like a volume and changing channels on a radio. And that channel that was once changed to pain can be changed to switched to pleasure. And you may think that that pain can be replaced with good sensations, be replaced with helpful sensations, and people experience profound change and their levels of pain now. And they experience a healing process deep inside yourself. And you may say to yourself, Tim's right, this works. And I am in charge of my neural networks. I am in charge of my brain processing centers. And my powerful subconscious mind controls that, just as it controls the feeling of saliva coming when I think about sour things, just as it controls my heart rate, my digestive, my, di my nervous system. My powerful subconscious brain controls my sensations of pain. And right now, as I dial that pain down and take that good deep breath, I begin to feel good now. And I have relief from that and that stress just rolls off of me. And I am so happy that I have this powerful part of my brain to access. 
And as I'm talking to that subconscious part of my friend right now, I want you to try another exercise with you, my powerful brain. I want you to imagine now that your pain in that area was a color. And I want you to visualize what that color might be. In your right hand, I want you to hold that pain. And I want you to feel the weight of that pain and the color of that pain and the lightness and intensity of that pain. And get a feeling for what it's like. Is it sharp? Is it bright? What's the color? And in your left hand, my friend, I want you to imagine what it would feel like if it didn't have that pain, if it was so far reduced, if it had been red, maybe you can change to the cool, soft colors of blue. And if it was loud, then you turn the volume down. And if it was sharp, then you make it rounded and soft and easy in your left hand. And I want you to take your right and your left hands now, and I want you to put those hands together and merge those two images. Merge those two sensations now. Do that now. And as you do that, you begin to understand that you are in control of your neural connections. And that powerful subconscious mind of yours that you use in amazing ways, just as colors can be combined, that pain can be mitigated, softened, lowered. We want to thank your subconscious brain for being able to do that now and to feel a reduction and of once it was so high, now it's a tolerable. And you're pleased and, and you feel good about, wow, I have control over these sensations. And that's a very exciting concept. To have control over this? Yes, you have control. And you may say to yourself, I am learning at a deep level, at a fundamental level that I control my neural networks. I control my level of pain. I control my perceptions. I am in charge of this. Not someone else. Not some kind of mysterious physiology. Me. And as I go deep inside my brain and access these states through hypnosis, I begin to feel good now. And it's happy and I feel lighter and I, I just feel so glad that these things can be reduced and that I can have control now. And that makes me feel good so wonderful to understand that our brain, this marvelous instrument, can be accessed and controlled through systems just like on your computer with files and deleting or reduction. We're hacking that code. We're changing the structure of that right now. You do this. This is not anything that Tim does to you. You do this yourself. This is your neural connections. This is your neural synaptics. And that makes me feel good to be able to help you learn how to do that. Now, my friend, I want you to come back now into your conscious mind. I'm talking to you now, and I want to thank that subconscious mind again for being able to go through these exercises and to be able to remember these learnings and how to access this whenever you need to. And I want to talk to you, 
the conscious mind again. And I want you to imagine that you're in your bathroom and you're looking in the mirror right now. And that person that you see is a wonderful person that is so loved and has so many talents and has so much good to offer. And everybody that sees this person loves them. You're a good person. And you know it's true because you are that person you're looking at. You are a good person of tremendous value you in goodness of love and we cherish you and love you and as you look into that mirror you see a person of great qualities that gets things done that is healthy in every way that is a body that's strong and amazing with a powerful brain that you have access to and you know it's true because you are that person you are that person of all those skills and talents and you're amazing my friend and I dig you and you just feel good now and as you reach inside and you go inside and just incorporate with a deep breath those good feelings that you have those learnings that you have about yourself you incorporate that just as you eat food and it goes into your mouth it feeds your body and every cell of your body Every nerve cell of your body is affected by what you eat. Just like that, every cell in your body is affected by what you hear, is affected by verbal surgery, baby. And when you listen to me, and when you hear the intensity that I'm coming out with you, your brain knows Tim ain't playing around with this. This is my neural networks, and I will control them, and Tim is right. And I will get inside there and I will practice. And I am curious as to how far I can go with this. How deep can I relax? How profound can my experience be? And my friend, I don't know. That's why I practice every day because it's so much fun. My body's getting stronger every day. What I'm capable of is amazing to me. And it's the same thing that will happen to you right now. As you go into these deep levels, you're a great person, a wonderful person of amazing talents, and we love you. We cherish you. And we know the pain that you've been going through, and we're so glad when we see you and you look like you're, you're not limping anymore. You're not, you're not holding your body in weird ways anymore because your body is healing. Your body heals itself. But you are accelerating those processes whenever you do this, whenever you practice these exercises. And any time that you want to enter into this deep state, whether you're listening to this on YouTube or on our website or whether you're just by yourself for a few minutes, all you have to do is close your eyes, take a good deep breath, and say to yourself, relax three times. A deep breath. Relax all the way down. A third deep breath. Relax. My friends, hypnosis is a skill. It's a skill set and every time you practice this you get better. Your brain learns this ability. You learn how to take a deep breath and immediately relax whenever you need it. And that makes you feel good that you can do that. Now in a moment, I'm gonna count from one to five. And when I count from five, you will be back completely in the room feeling absolutely amazing, baby. One, all relaxation is leaving your body. Two, an amazing energy going through every nerve, cell, and fiber of your being. Three, take a good deep breath, completely filling your lungs with oxygen, feeling absolutely wonderful. Four, lungs are clear, throat is clear, mind is clear and sharp, eyes bright and shiny like wash with clear mountain stream, and five, awake all the way back, all the way back into the room now, all the way back into your way. And you realize that you've learned something at a fundamental level and how wonderful it is to get a hold of your neurology and take care of yourself. And that makes you feel good right now. And I appreciate the time that you're spending with me. 
And every time you do this, you get better and better. Every sound you hear makes you feel even better. I look forward to seeing you again really soon. Take care of yourself, my friend. Love you.